you in this tutorial how you can use the SeaMonkey web browser to make it a lot easier on you as far as uh, being able to add content to the site. Uh, basically what you're going to do is, uh, and you don't have to do this, you know, I want you to understand that you don't have to put it in HTML form to put your content up. Uh, this just makes it look prettier. You know, to get the page breaks and stuff like that, you do have to do it this way. But the easy way to do it is to go to mozilla.org and I'll spell it out for you org not com okay mozilla.org and you're gonna download the SeaMonkey web browser once you do that there's a little icon down here now you can't really see it on the screen capture that I'm using and but it looks like a little notebook with a uh, and it's right down here looks like a little notebook with a pen over the top of it you're gonna click on that and uh, we'll just get rid of this all this stuff real quick and this was an example that I had made on the last tutorial that I have made but let's say for example that we want to um, you know advertise our birds or advertise our loft we'll say uh, my name is Chris Curtis and you can see my now you don't have to, uh, there's no limit on the amount of content that you can use, uh, but we'll just use Jim Richardson, actually we'll use Jim Richardson's name. I don't have a loft, <laughs> so. Okay, Aaron Donk West Loft, let's say we want to link this. Okay, HTTP, AaronDonkWest.com or PigeonRacingUSA.com. And we'll make this big so it stands out. And then you can just add whatever you want. You know, if you want to add a picture, uh, basically you'd have to upload the image to the server and then add the add the link to the picture in here but one one easy way to do it is if you if you have a picture uh, that you want to put in the content now you can upload an image uh, which this is what what we will actually do we'll upload an image but another way that you can do it is you can go to image and uh, we'll just go to Jim's website real quick hold on just a second Okay, and we'll get this image properties and then we'll copy this link right here okay and then we'll come down here and bring the composer back up sorry I'm being scatterbrained here image and then we'll copy the link location and then there's our image there. Alternate text, Smoking Joe. Okay, it inserts it there for us. So now what we want to do is we want to look at the HTML source of this. Now, on the Pigeon Racing USA website, you want to cut the head section out and the body section out. So anything that says HTML head, head, body, cut that out. You also have a body tag at the bottom and you want to cut that out. So all you're going to have to do, because we already have the body tags in sort of inserted for you and the head tags already there too. The title will be in the head of uh, the website automatically. So you copy that and we'll bring this back up. Pigeon Racing USA. Buy pigeons online dot com new document oops new document and of course it's going to make me log in remember login submit okay now we're going to get a new document document type uh, we'll do an image submit and then Smoke and Joe browse 
I think that's smoking Joe there. Okay. Oh yeah, we got to paste our content. And then advertise your loft is what category we'll put it in. Submit. It'll take a second for it to create this for us. Okay, now you see we uploaded an image, but we also added an image to our content by uh, copying and pasting the source. So if you have a website uh, or, or something like that, and you don't have to do it this way, it just makes it look cooler. Um, we see the picture of Smoke and Joe, and then you come down and you see the picture of Smoke and Joe here. So that looks really, really nice. And what you can do is when you click on this link here, it's going to take you to Aaron Donk West Loft website at PigeonRacingUSA.com. Um, so it's it's a really easy way to put documents into HTML format without having to be an HTML expert or knowing HTML at all. Uh, so thanks for watching the tutorial today. There will be several more tutorials coming. We're gonna we're gonna cover some different things, some really cool things that you can do with this website, and it doesn't cost you anything, guys. This is a great way to get the word out there about your loft or to communicate with other people in the pigeon sport tell your friends about it uh, and you know start using the site that's what it's there for and and this is the most interactive forum um, in the pigeon community as far as what you're able to do what you're able to upload this is it's, it's basically like a myspace for the pigeon community you get your own personal little page and you can edit it and do your own little thing with it and do all that stuff uh, but you also get um, the ability to put your content out there on the internet in an easy way. And the more content you put on the site, the better off it is for everybody. So uh, thanks again for watching the tutorial and look again tomorrow or the next day for the next one.